Today, I'm going to teach you how to drag click with a glorious Model O. So the first thing that you need to think about is why drag clicking happens. It clicks due to the friction between your finger and the mouse surface, and some mouse surfaces are harder to drag click on. For instance, the glossy model of the Model O is harder to drag click on because of its slick surface. So a matte surface is for a mouse is always better for drag clicking than a glossy one. Additionally, the climate in your room can and will affect your capability to drag click. For if the humidity is low in the room that you are in, it will be harder because chances are your fingers will be dry. So be, be sure to moisturize. It may sound weird, but um, be sure to do it. Make sure your hands aren't too dry because it will make it easier. It may also be easier if it is warmer in your room as opposed to cold because the colder it is, the drier it usually is. A few ways to fix this are to get a heater, a humidifier, blowing on your hands, or rubbing your fingers together until they become slightly clammy. Keyword, slightly. If they are too clammy, your fingers will slide right across the mouse because of your slimy and disgusting hands. It also depends on how light or easy it is to click on your mouse button. So if it is, uh, so if it requires less force to execute a click, that means it can click more times when drag clicking, especially if you can do double clicks on it. Um, on the Model O and the G502, I find it very easy to double click. The second thing that you need to think about is that there are various different ways to increase the chances of drag clicking. And those are dragging your finger more vertically across as opposed to horizontally. And it will make it easier to somewhat vibrate your finger across the mouse. Lastly, there are ways to increase the grip or alter the texture of your mouse button so that there will be more friction. The more friction there is, the easier it will be to drag it across and have more clicks. A few ways to do this include applying the razor grip tape or any kind of thin grip tape for bats like lizard skins and put it directly on top of your mouse button. If you don't want to purchase anything to drag click on, a popular mod that is free that you can use is called the tape method. So essentially, it requires some tape to rub off the adhesive onto the mouse click. There are various different ways to do this, but I like to dab the tape on and off the mouse click over and over again. Then after dabbing it, I like to practically wipe the rest of the adhesive off by simply dragging it up the mouse button, and then applying a decent amount of force when I'm doing this so that I drag all of that off. And the best part about this is that you can use commonly found tape that is found in households, such as scotch tape or blue tape. After this, just test it out with different fingers. For me, doing it with my middle finger is much easier than my index finger because for whatever reason, my index finger is usually colder than my middle finger. Now, we can think about how to get higher CPS while drag clicking. It is basically determined by how long you drag click. So a short drag click would be short spurts and uh, faster spurts, whereas a long drag click would be from the uppermost part of the mouse button so that you can click faster and for longer giving you more CPS. For those who do not know, CPS means clicks per second. Long drag clicks give me an average between 20 to 25 CPS on my glorious model O, and short drag clicks give me about 15 CPS. For any glorious mouse though, it will be much easier to drag click and double click when your debounce time is down from 10 to 4, but down to 2 if you are using the new glorious software. For many though, uh, just go into the Glory software, click on the debounce time button, go to the bottom right hand corner of the software, and drag the slider down to the lowest setting. Then be sure to click on apply, otherwise the changes will not have saved. Now the most important thing is to not give up and just keep practicing. It will take much practice to be able to drag consistently, and quite a bit of testing to see work, what works best for you, as what works best for me might not work well for you. I also want to demonstrate that you can drag click on various mice, and it doesn't have to be an expensive Rocat Cone or bloody A70 to drag click 70 CPS. No, you can just use a simple office mouse like I have right here. I can drag click on it very easily without even using the tape method. I also have a Razer Viper Mini here with the Razer Grip Tape, which makes it even easier to drag click. Unfortunately though, you cannot drag click on the Razer Viper Mini because of its optical switches, so the clicks don't really register. But when I take out my G502 Hero, which isn't even a G502 Proteus, I can easily drag click and get high CPS because of the lengthy buttons. Uh, double clicking is also a breeze because of the poorly designed Omron switches. So again, don't give up, keep trying this mouse clicking method out. It's relatively easy and simple once you get the hang of it, and once you understand how drag clicking really works.